Hello, in this video I'll show you how to make chocolate covered strawberries with chocolate cheesecake filling. To start making chocolate covered strawberries, we first have to prep the strawberries. I wash the strawberries and then cut out the stem and center. I set the strawberries up on end so that they will dry. It's very important that the strawberries are fully dry before you dip them into the chocolate because any moisture in your chocolate can cause the chocolate to seize. If it seizes, you won't be able to use it to continue dipping the strawberries. I dip my strawberries into tempered chocolate. Tempered chocolate gives a really nice shiny hard coat on the outside of the strawberries, which also provides a great crunch when you bite into the chocolate covered strawberry. If you start with chocolate pellets that are already in temper, just heat the pellets to 92 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll lose temper above 94 degrees Fahrenheit, so for this you only want to heat the chocolate hot enough to melt, but not so hot that you lose the temper. If you're using untempered dark chocolate, there's two options to bring it into temper. One option is to bring the chocolate to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, which melts all of the cocoa butter crystals in the chocolate, and then cool it to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Then stir in some already tempered chocolate pellets until they melt. The second method is to heat the chocolate to 110 degrees Fahrenheit so all cocoa butter crystals melt and then let it cool to 80 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit. This will start forming new crystals in the cocoa butter. Then bring the heat up to 92 degrees Fahrenheit so that all the crystals that we don't want melt but the form 5 beta crystals that cause tempered chocolate won't melt since they melt at 94 degrees. Regardless of which method you use to temper the chocolate, make sure that you keep the melted chocolate between 84 and 91 degrees Fahrenheit so that you won't lose your temper. If it goes out of these ranges, you'll need to go through the whole process of tempering again. Once I had the tempered melted chocolate ready, I poured some of it into a separate bowl. I did this for two reasons. One reason is so that if it does go out of temper, I can reheat that bowl. And the second reason is so that if I don't use all of the chocolate, I can reuse it later and I won't have contaminated it with any of the strawberries. There's two options for heating the chocolate. One option is to use a double boiler, so put the chocolate in a glass or metal bowl over a sauce pot with hot water. Make sure that the bowl is not actually touching the water, but that it's just heated from the steam. The second option is to microwave the chocolate at half power until it's fully melted. I prefer the double boiler method because it gives me a little bit more control over the temperature. I make the chocolate cheesecake filling after all of the strawberries are dipped and coated in the chocolate so that they have time to set. In a small bowl, I add 8 ounces of softened cream cheese. Then I add a half cup of powdered sugar, followed by 1 teaspoon of vanilla. Then I add in 2 tablespoons of cocoa powder. I stir everything together until it's smooth. If the cream cheese is still kind of difficult to stir together, you can microwave it for 10 to 20 seconds until it's soft. Once the cream cheese is smooth, I add in about a quarter cup of the leftover chocolate from dipping our strawberries. This is optional, but I love the additional chocolatey flavor that it provides. Then I scoop out the chocolate cheesecake mixture so that we can pipe it into our strawberries. I'm putting it into a sandwich bag that I'll then cut one of the corners off, but you could also use a piping bag if you have one. I cut the corner off of the sandwich bag and then fill the chocolate covered strawberries. I fill the strawberries up nearly to the top and then pipe a cute little swirl design on the top. A piping bag is maybe a little easier to work with, but with enough patience the sandwich bag works fine too. Once the strawberries are filled with the cheesecake filling, they should be enjoyed the same day. Thanks for watching this video on how to make chocolate covered strawberries with chocolate cheesecake filling. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, and as always, like and subscribe to see more content.